Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna check out PDF Element versus PDF Expert. Two apps for macOS to edit and work on PDF documents. In the world of productivity, who will perform better? Let's see and check them out. So now, let's move on. Let's start downloading them so we can see how easy it is to download them and install them from their websites. So let's start with PDF element. We fire up Safari, search for wonder share PDF element right here. Safari gave us a comment. So we now open try PDF element pro and there you go. So now when you've downloaded them first, you have downloaded wonder share. Let's try to install it. You click on agree, it opens up the installer. Let's see how fast it is. It's very fun, the image. Then you simply drag and drop the icon into the application folder and you can see right there, it's copying one shared PDF element. While it is still copying and then we have done we now need to download PDF Expert for Mac. So we write on here PDF Expert. And there you go. You can download it right here. You open the website, then you click on uh, free download. You download it. You wait for it to download. You open the PDF Expert app, then you click on open. It probably will open and there you have it. Wait a second. Let's see when I close Safari what we see. Here you have the installer. I don't want the PDF expert as default PDF reader. I click on install. It's downloading it. Want to share in the in while. Meanwhile has finished it to install. So we are ready now to see how fast they are to start up. PDF expert finishing the install is going to open but we don't give a uh, care of it. We closed. Okay, now we have installed them. Let's fire them up and then see how easy and how fast is use them. Let's fire up, for example, for first PDF element. Open up. There you have it. Then I open PDF expert. And there you have it. The same program with the same file already on the app so let's open up pdf element file this one okay and then open this one in the other page so now if i want to view it on fit page okay so now it's the same view let's see how easy is reading a file so reading a file on both programs is very easy. Zoom, don't zoom, change page, uh, display page mode, uh, etc. You can do it by clicking on view and here, there you have it, all your functions. Very easy to, to use. On the other hand, on PDF Expert, you have uh, your tools here, but we will see them later. And here you can change all the view stuff. Also, if you want to use your mouse, you can go here and open the, open the drop down view menu and see all the options you can see here. Now, let's move on to editing a PDF file. Now, we move on on PDF element. For example, you need to edit a PDF file. You've done your PDF file into Word or Pages and you need to add the header or footer you don't have add into pages or word and you need to send it very easy and very fast what do you do you go into pdf element tools and there you have it header and footer but the thing is in pdf element you have the tools to do that in pdf element in pdf expert you don't have the possibility to do that and there you have it. You can do nothing. Let's move back into the annotate one so you can see the other tools. 
And so for the editing, PDF element is one mark more than PDF expert. Now let's move on. If I want to mark up something into PDF element, I go simply here and there you have it, all your tools. So for example, if I want to highlight this one, I click on it and then select it right this way. But if I don't like that, I can also comment into the file. So I click over there, then I click on text box, then I click here and then I wrote this file is okay. I'm not able to write today, but it's okay. Now I've created this box here for comment and uh, annotate something. Now let's move on into PDF expert to see what I can do in this one. So now if I want to annotate something or I want to mark up something, I need to use this one. So you can see I can open this bar right here. Then I use the yellow one to annotate this one to highlight the text. Very easy. But better to use right there because you have all here and that's easy to use and more fast. So now let's try to add a text. If I click here, I can write without having a visible square. So for example, hi there. Now I'm writing in red. If I want to change to black, I can do that. So now, very simple to use the text tool. In the first moment, you need to take a hand, take care how to use it. But when you have the speed and the control of that, you will be fast. Now let's move on to protection and security of files because it's very important to business to have protection of files. Now let's get back to PDF element. If I want to protect my file, I go to file, protect and create with password. And there you have it, very easy. If I go into PDF expert, I need to go to set password. Yeah, more faster, but if you check it, I can only set a password, not what need to protect. Here I can set the properties of security of who has a password and who hasn't a password. So better using PDF element for that type of stuff. Okay, now if I want to export a file in PDF element, I simply click file, export to and then I can change the file format from PDF to, for example, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. If I go into PDF expert, I cannot do that because here I can find the voice that sh that allows me to do the thing. Now, if I go into PDF expert, I cannot change the format because if I go into file, I cannot find the options to change the extension and the type of file. So now let's talk about price. You want to buy PDF expert, you can pay about $80 and you have one license for three max. But if you want to buy the PDF element, you can spend $60 around $60 for the free version, the normal version. If you want the pro version that has OCR redaction, file size optimization, batch conversion and batch processing tools, you need to pay about $20 more for PDF elements because it has function for business that's better to have instead of use PDF expert that doesn't have that. Okay guys, that's all folks. If you have any questions, you can use the comment box down below. I hope you enjoyed this review and I will see you next time.